Now if it was a snake, I'd be we'd all be out of here. And that would be just <laughs> better hurry up with that cat. So I think hot is going to be the word for today. There's a heat warning out. Um, it's supposed to be 100 degrees today and then the heat index could be up to about 108. And so because of that I am a little concerned about these guys being in this chicken tractor because I do know that heat is pretty intense when it beats down on the tin and then there's not really a lot of airflow when they get back there in the shade. I think these chicks are plenty big enough to go over in the coop now. With all these tall weeds here like this, I think they'll do okay mixed in with all these others. It'll probably cause a lot of drama, especially between Ned and Nate right there. But I do think that they'll do okay because they're big enough to fend for themselves now. The corn has really taken off. It's actually taller than I am now. That's not really saying a whole lot because I'm pretty short, but... I think it's always fun to walk through here. It brings back memories of when I was a kid. My dad used to grow corn in an irrigated field and we used to go out there and pick it and when we were kids we'd like to run through the corn and stuff. And then right up there, I think those have to be two of the tallest sunflowers we've ever grown. Um, that one that's all bloomed out, a few days ago it was standing straight up. And it was just so beautiful. I took a picture of it. I think I posted it on the community page of my YouTube account. It's also on Instagram and Facebook if you'd like to see it. I was really surprised at how tall they got. Um, I put fish emulsion on them and I also put fish emulsion on the corn. And um, I don't know if that's what did it or if it's um, just a good growing season. But whatever it is, things are have been growing good this year. The arrangement of our nesting boxes has been working out great. The hens seem to really like this one over here. There's only one egg in it right now, but this is usually one of the more popular places. Here's what the bucket of eggs looks like now. We have it just a little under half full now. I'm really not sure how much more to add to it because I don't want the weight of the eggs to crush them, but I'm probably going to at least go up halfway. So I'm going to stick all the clean, non poopy, unwashed eggs that I got that I gathered today in here. I'm supposed to uh, position them so the pointy end is down but they don't like to stay that way very well. So we have a situation going on in the barn. Brooke came and got me. So what's going on? Um, there's a, there's something crawling in the feed sacks in the feed rim. And it's freaking me out. I, I, was, um, I still need to get the goat food. But I mean, um, I propped the door open. And then I got all the stuff out of the way, so if, so the way if I need a bail, I could. <laughs> but I was too scared to go in. <laughs> okay. So if it's anything like a snake or a mouse or anything like that, I don't know what I can do to help. Well, but if it's a mouse, I'll be perfectly fine to get the feet. <laughs> but... If it's a snake, that's a whole different story. Okay, now tell me exactly what you heard a while ago. You heard the feed sacks rustle, uh -huh. and then you heard some squeaking, uh -huh. like there yeah. was a mouse in distress. Yes. And a few weeks ago, we had a snake in the barn, and <coughs> we never did find it. And so It could very well still be in the feeding room. It could be. We thought it might have crawled in the feed room, so for like two or three days we were super 
scared to go in the feed room. And then I finally decided, well, I've got to feed the animals, so I just got to brave up, and I just go in there and get my stuff and get out quickly. And so what if that snake's been in there the whole time? I will get a stick of some sort. I need to find a, like a broom or a pitchfork or a something. Maybe this will work. It's a huge, heavy... Oh, it's full of spider webs, though. <laughs> yeah, that's just as bad as a snake. <laughs> okay, here's a... Maybe this mark. Work. Okay, so whereabouts did you hear the rustling at? I don't know, just just in the um sacks. Oh, um, it was lower. You know what we ought to do is one of those like that sack right there, like those those um like these right here? Yeah, those types of sacks. Well, we need to clean this room out because all these feed sacks it's ridiculous to have this many empty feed sacks in here. And so, what I think I'll do is just drag all those sacks out one by one, see what's under them, and then leave them out there so that way they'll drive me crazy and I'll go ahead and get them burnt. Um. But we need to do this quickly because today's supposed to get super hot and we need to get those. Mm -hmm chickens and turkeys moved. Um, you're kind of hesitating in there. Are you, are you doing okay? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Okay. You like that just, cross mouse. Um, just know that if it is a snake, that the snake is more scared of you than you are of it, okay? Okay, that's really reassuring, Brooke. Yeah. <laughs> I swear every single year that we're going to start doing this on a monthly basis, but do we do it? Nope. It was a mouse. Are you serious? Yes. It was a big fat mouse too. <laughs> That's probably why that he was making all the racket because he's so fat. Ah! It's in there. He's in the tote. It's in the tote. There, take that sack mine. Oh god, I don't want to lift that sack out because he might jump. I want to see him. Somebody to go get go get a cat. Quick. Go get a cat. Go get go get Mika. Why are you Mika? Because she's so friendly. Go. Okay. Oh There's my gosh, friends. she's trying to get out. Well, take your snake poking stick and just poke him back in. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't want to. The positive thing about this is it wasn't a snake. Yes. It was a mouse. Now if it was a snake, I'd be we'd all be out of here. And that would be just. Ah! Oh, don't scream! <laughs> well, he jumped really high. I did. Yes, he just about made it out of the tote. <sighs> Finally, better hurry up with that cat. I'll take him in there and put him in there. In where? In that. In the Carefully tub. in that tub, without freaking. I think the cat's scared of him. Go get it. Go get Mika. I can't find Mika. Come on, Kitty. Come on. Just get lit. Yeah. Just get lit. I got him. Okay. Is he attacking him? No. Ah, 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 oh. I still want to... oh my 
my gosh, we have cats that are freaked of mice. We got Mika. Okay, Mika should sure get it. Mika's attacking it. Yay! Okay. Does she have it? <laughs> 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 she just picked that thing up and ran. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now that crisis is so, <laughs> solved. You just screamed and I didn't. <laughs> and so now, on to finishing the rest of the chores. Okay, so I was just talking with Miley about moving the mama hen and chicks over here in with these chickens in this coop. And she thought it might be kind of a bad idea. And I'd never thought about, about this, but, you know, these chickens that are in here are the ones she's planning on taking to the fair next week and if they would get into a fight with the mama hen something would happen and they'd um, lose feathers that wouldn't be very good yeah we We're, don't want them to get beat up we already lost one polish we could take because mom grabbed it by the tail feathers and ripped some apples so for now i think i'll just move the chicken tractor in the shade give them lots of water and keep a good eye on them with the fair being next week and the possibility of the turkey pulls hatching out we're just going to go ahead and turn the turkeys loose and let them free range chance can show them the ropes because she's been free ranging and i think they'll all hang together as a flock now and then we're going to go ahead and move that turkey tractor out there <laughs> and they're wanting to get the chance. Mm -hmm. So we just named him. Miley's been calling um, the female right there, Chloe, and we just came up with Charlie. So we got Chloe, Charlie, and Chance. I think they're going to be a lot happier free ranging. So we got it in place and ready to go for when the new poles hatch. <laughs>